Okay, today what we're doing is working on another integral from MIT Integration B 2015. Problem 17, we have the integral of 1 plus e to the x over 1 minus e to the x dx. Okay, I'm going to solve this one using two methods. So we'll start with method one, right? This doesn't really make, start, make sense to start with method two. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to, we have addition here in the um, numerator. So what I can do is split this into two integrals. So our first integral is going to be just 1 over 1 minus e to the x dx. And our second integral is going to be e to the x, uh, 1 minus e to the x dx. Now on the right, I think we're already, here we're already set up for our u substitution. So what I'm going to do here is we'll call our u 1 minus e to the x. And then our du is going to be, uh, just put a minus on there, so it'll be minus e to the x. Let's actually work with the one on the left for a second. So what I can do here, so my trouble is I don't have anything in the numerator, but what I can do is create that. We'll multiply our numerator. Sorry, this doesn't look right, but we're going to multiply numerator and denominator by e to the negative x. So we're essentially multiplying by 1. Not essentially, we really are multiplying by 1. And so let's rewrite this. We're going to have e to the negative x dx over e to the negative x, multiply e to the negative x, negative x times 1, and then e to the negative x times e to the x is just going to be here a minus 1. Okay, now on the left side, we can do a very similar u substitution, but let's call it t, so we use this different variable. So over here, we're going to say t is going to be our denominator, e to the negative x minus 1, and then that makes, we'll do our dt, the derivative of that's going to be the derivative e to the negative x is going to be a minus e to the negative x. Derivative of minus 1 is 0. And we'll have a dx. Okay, now, so we'll make, I'm going to make the substitution. We'll work both integrals at the same time. I really missed the opportunity to color code. I could have did, like, blue on the left and yellow on the right. Okay, let's try to do that going forward here. So, so starting with the left, we're going to have, we're going to, this is just our du, sorry, our dt in the numerator. And then we're going to have just t in the denominator. Oh, and you know what I missed when I took the derivative here? There should be a minus right there on our dt. So let's bring a minus up front here. And then, okay, good. I remembered it over here. So then we have our, that's our first integral. And then for our, for our second integral, we're going to have du in the numerator. But we, we want to use this minus. We'll bring this minus up front. And then in the denominator, we're going to have our 1 minus u is going to be just our u. So we're going to have du over u. Then we can integrate this. We're going to have just very simple minus ln t minus ln u. And now we just left. We need to back substitute. You know, but before I'm going to, before I back substitute, let's do one thing. I'm going to kind of simplify this a little bit. Let's actually write this. We'll, we'll factor out a minus sign. We'll have ln t plus ln u. And then by properties of the logarithm, we can multiply these two. We can multiply t and u, and we can have minus ln ut. Oh, and I'm totally forgetting my absolute value. Sorry about that. So now I'm going to do my back substitution. I'm just going to bring this over this way so I get some more space, because I want to see my u and t. So what we're going to have, OK, so we're going to have minus natural log Absolute value, our u is going to be 1 minus e to the x. And then our t is going to be e to the minus x minus 1. And then what we're left with, we just need to multiply this thing. I'm just going to multiply this out here. So we're going to have minus natural log absolute value. OK, so distributing, we're going to have e to the minus x, a minus 1. Distributing these, another minus 1 and a plus e to the x. And then obviously this is minus 2, so let's just write our answer. It's going to be minus natural log e to the minus x minus 2 plus e to the x plus c. That's going to be our answer for the first solution. Okay, now method 2, what I'm going to do is we're just going to break up our numerator a different way, but I'm going to turn off the refrigerator. Okay, so rewriting the numerator, what we're going to, we're just going to break this up a little different. We're going to write it as, okay, we're going to write this as 1 minus e to the x plus 2 e to the x. 
just noticing um, 2d to the x minus e to the x is just one it's just e to the x so we haven't changed anything we're going to have our one minus e to the x in the denominator and now if we split this up we notice over here on the left we're going to have just one so let's we'll have one dx plus the integral of two e to the x one minus e x dx I think you'll see that this way is going a little faster. We obviously know what the integral of one is. Let's deal with our integral on the right. I'm gonna do a u substitution here. So we'll say our u is just gonna be the denominator one minus e to the x. Then differentiating our u, we're just gonna have minus e to the x dx. So back to the integral, this first integral is just gonna be an x. Integral of one is x. And then here, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take this two outside, but I'm gonna make it a minus two. So that what we're going to have is we're going to have a minus ex dx here so that we're not changing it and we'll have our one minus ex in the denominator so writing it this way we've got our u in the denominator and our whole numerator is going to be our du so we'll make that substitution so just bring our x forward we'll have x minus 2 integral of du over u then we'll solve that real quick. We're gonna have x minus two ln u. I think what I'm gonna do is back substitute in one step. So we're gonna take this back here. And we're gonna have natural log absolute value one minus e to the x plus c. And now what I've done is in yellow here, I just brought down our method one answer and we have our method two answer on the right. And they look a little different. So what I wanna do is show that these are actually the same. So what I'm gonna do is to start, what I'm going to do is I'm going to write that x as natural log e to the x. Okay. So I want to work, I want to get it all within our natural log. And then what I'll do is I'll take this 2 as an exponent to square inside of the natural log. So we're going to have minus ln absolute value 1 minus e to the x squared. And you can tell that we're not really going to need the absolute value there because this is squared. Okay, then rewriting this thing, we're gonna have ln e to the x minus natural log, and then we'll square it out. We're gonna have one minus two e to the x plus e to the two x. By the property of logarithms, I can divide this. But what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna, let's take a negative out and we'll write it. We're gonna write the e to the x in the denominator, right? Because the minus allows me to flip this. So we're gonna have one minus 2e to the x plus e to the 2x. And then if I just divide through by our e to the x value, if I divide all the values by e to the x, so we're going to have e to the negative, one, one, over, one divided by e to the x is e to the negative x minus 2 because the e to the x is cancel there. And then just plus an e to the x. And now we notice that these two solutions are the same thing. And again, we could drop the absolute value sign on both these. That's because you saw we had a square term here. E to the X is always positive. But also, if you have uh, EX plus E to the minus X, this thing is always greater than or equal to two. So then again, looking at it that way, this is never gonna be negative. That's it, so that was MIT integration B 2015, problem 17. I spiked my pen, but you won't see it because it's a digital board right now. Anyway, thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe. Have a good day.